Thank you, David. City leaders in Red Bank want to hear from residents about the future of the former Red Bank Middle School site on Dayton Boulevard. They say they hope a survey will let them hear from interested residents. They say it's the first time in the town's history they've started a master planning process. Local 3's Jeremiah Beatty explains. Jeremiah. Greg, Cindy, at this point in the process, Red Bank leaders are analyzing data to determine what is feasible at the site. Last week, they hosted a community meeting as a starting point for discussion. Don McKenzie's group Red Bank Central Park wants to use the 12 acres as a recreational area for people to enjoy. Outdoor space for gardens, food trucks, ponds and public art. Right now residents use the vacant site as an open space. They built the new middle school over off of Morrison Springs and then we got this property the city did. So our group thinks it would be um, uh, a a game-changing development for the city of Red Bank to create an epic public park in the middle of town on that 12 acres. McKenzie says his group was formed four years ago when plans were made to sell the site to a developer. Since then, the group has advocated for a public park. They have a petition with more than 600 signatures from Red Bank residents. We are absolutely considering all options. 12-acre park option will be included. During a meeting last week, planning consultants presented three ideas based on trends from other areas. The three concepts we had to react to Thursday looked like replicates from four years ago. The town's vice mayor says that's not the case. They presented some boards as conversation starters. Um, it was not meant to be these are the only options for this property. These are the only features we can consider. She says everyone will have the opportunity to provide feedback in a survey. I hope that people will make time to show up because this is really important to our community and we want to hear from them. Dalton says the link to the survey will be sent by mail. The consultants hired by the city will present that information at the Jubilee on May 4th. In studio, I'm Jamari Beatty, Local 3 News.